In this video, I'm going to show you the sneakiest bomb out of bunch that I haven't seen hardly anyone use, but honestly, this may just be the best bomb in bunch. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click subscribe down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And uh, like I said, it just gets you those updates um, as far as tips and tricks. We try to do uh, videos every day. We try to do multiple videos a day. So there's always something going on here at the channel for you. Now, I wanna talk about um, an adjustment that pro players have started to figure out in terms of your gun bunch. Now, I released an ebook on the Seattle Seahawks offensive guide on the gun bunch. And what I'm gonna be doing over the course of the next uh, couple of weeks is as patches come out, as things change um, within that first month of the game, I'm going, I'm going to be updating that guide for you. So if you've gotten the guide, you're gonna get updates. If there's anything that changes, any of the bombs don't work or whatever, we're gonna to continue to update that. We're also going to be giving you um, more gun bunch concepts that are good out of gun bunch out of other format, other playbooks too. So um, it's not just going to be Seattle. It's going to be like gun bunch, and then it's going to be like, okay, you can use this play out of this formation or this play out of this playbook. So that's the idea. So if you like to run gun bunch, or if you just want to have the best offense in the game, I'd encourage you to get it. Um, it's just fifteen bucks. And I study a lot of film, a lot of film. I study a lot of adjustments and tactics. And so I'm really excited to bring this video to you. This is like a really, really good way to deal with it when your opponent is, what I would say is, doing the best they can to bomb proof their coverage in Madden 22. So let's dive into the play. The play is Z spot and go. Like I said, if you want to get my full guide, it's in the description. Now this will work against cover three, but I want to show something real quick out of the cover three. So I'm just going to kind of set up a, a basic uh, Mabel coverage. And I'm going to actually uh, audible to, actually I don't, I guess I don't have it, huh? Let me grab verticals real quick. I just want to show, because I want to show you the problem and then I'm going to show you the solution. So. Um, let me just throw verticals in the audibles and then let me come out and clear out or not clear out um, Z spot and go. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to set up a cover three and I need to flip it because I've turned auto flip off because I was labbing some, some defensive concepts. Okay, so if you can't tell, but this is cover three um, to the right side. And all we're going to do is we're going to call verticals and streak circle. And what you should see is circle should get wide open every time. Um, it might, on this of course, um, sometimes he gets a little rubbed like that. If he gets that weird little bump thing that you just saw, that's the only time where it really doesn't work out too well for you. Like I said, generally, you know, you're gonna be fine. This is gonna work. And again, pay no attention to the fact that the coverage is all jacked up. It is, it is cover three. But anyway, you see here, and you see, fast lead it up you see the idea basically basically the wheel route pulls the guy out of the way and then the, the streak is wide open um, that's kind of the concept and let me show it to you one more time and then I want to show you what the defense can do to basically save themselves um, so the way that they can save themselves let me go to verticals here streak circle but you see pass lead one of those teams basically is the is the point um, okay, so how do they save themselves? How do they how do they how do they how do they do it? Well, the way that they're gonna be able to defend this and not give up the bomb is if they put this um, this guy Whitehead into a inside quarter or a deep half. Now, 99% of the time it's gonna be an inside quarter. Sometimes it'll be a deep half, um, but you'll see a lot of inside quarter. So what you'll see is if I try to throw this bomb to circle, the inside quarter will basically take him. Now right here, I still got it over the top, which is crazy, but that's just because my zone drops aren't on. If I were to have zone drops on, that, would, that wouldn't be open. Um, so anyways, all that to say, it stops the bomb. Okay, it does. Um, and they'll deep half or the inside quarter. So I'm gonna audible, um, let me see. Actually, let me reset. I'm thinking, make sure I'm in cover three here. So I'm, I'm still in cover three. 
So now what I want to show you is that adjustment, but I want to show you the bomb that we can bomb off of that. So if they put that deep, that deep half or that inside quarter adjustment, um, all we're going to do is we're going to streak the R1 receiver just like this. Um, you could also just simply streak the tight end, but that's it. Does the play set up and what you'll see is a circle receiver is going to bomb right up, just pass lead it straight up. And as you can see, this is an absolute laser. Um, now, you need something to hold their user. Um, so what the, what most people will think is gonna happen, okay? What most people will think is going to happen is they will think that their outside third on the left is going to cover him. He's not going to cover him. So my favorite little trick um, to just hold the user is to either put that tight end on a, uh, a drag or just put the running back on a curl. Something super simple. Doesn't have to be complicated, but you'll see tight end on an in route. They're going to go to the tight end every single time. And then take a look at that thing. Just absolutely roast the coverage. Now, if they do an inside quarter adjustment, it's going to be even worse for them. So let me show you what happens if they do an inside quarter. So I was doing a deep half. Deep half is safer. Um, but let's say they do an inside quarter. So they put that guy whitehead on a quarter zone. Remember that trigger is a match quarter zone typically. So what you're going to see is if I streak R1, put the tight end on an in route, watch this R1 receiver. He's going to get wide open to the inside because there's no one in the inside third um, on that field. It breaks the coverage, as you can see. So the bottom line is if they're over adjusting, if they're over adjusting their cover three, in my opinion, this is the best way to deal with it because there's no, there's just no answer um, to it. They're going to have to user it is what it comes down to. But if we can get something to hold their user with like an in route to a tight end or a curl to a running back, you see here, this is what the coverage looks like. So their user basically is in no man's land. Um, and I will tell you, most people that I've played up till this point, they don't know about this route beating it. So they're very unlikely. You can just leave the corner, but I like to just put the streak um, just because it looks similar to verticals. And then you could even, if you wanted to, you could motion circle out just a step or just leave him compressed because that looks like verticals. It looks like verticals to the eye. And then as you see right here, both of those routes kill the quarter adjustment, as you can see. Now I wanna go over one little thing that the defense can do, and I wanna do it from, um, um, what it basically is, is they can go to this play right here. This is cover four drop. Cover four drop, this will still be a really big play. It just might not be a touchdown, okay? So here's cover four drop. I just want you to watch it. And what you'll see is circle. You're just gonna basically, you see that, right? See how the outside quarter does help him? So that to say, what you're gonna do what I like to do, or a little bit of an adjustment to the cover four, is I'm gonna take the square receiver, the solo receiver, and I'm gonna put him on a either a streak or a curl, okay? Either a streak or a curl. Um, now a curl, what you'll see here is, the curl will kind of freeze him, but unfortunately that spot route doesn't run like we want it to, it doesn't really, it would be really cool if that route just went straight at that angle, but it just doesn't. So we have to adjust to that. So what we can do though, is simply put the, if you're facing cover four and you still want a big dot, all you gotta do is simply put the square receiver on the streak. So the solo receiver's on a streak, obviously they get press alignment, but what you can do is just now, he's gonna pull the zones out of the way. And as you can see, we'll still dot them up for you know several yards. So all that to say guys, that's how you deal with that inside quarter adjustment or that deep half adjustment. If they run cover three, I promise you, if they run cover three and their user sits on this tight end in route, or he does not go cover the spot route, that spot route will run, spot and go route will run right down the middle of the field and it will be a one play score every single time. Just pass lead that open. And right there, he got kind of jammed. But like I said, this thing is super good against that cover three because the C route, and you could put a curl route over there, but typically that C route is gonna be the money route um, for holding an outside third this year. Um, you could also, I mean, you could put a comeback if you don't, 
you know, if you, maybe you don't have this play or whatever. But what you'll see is, again, if you just watch, as long as this guy doesn't get bumped, pass lead him to the left, and you're going to be bombing cover three with a deep half for a one-play score. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, or I'm sorry, my gun bunch offensive guide, because we're going to be putting some concepts in there that aren't from the Seattle playbook, um, so that that way if you want to run another playbook, you certainly can. You can still apply the principles um, and cross-apply everything. So this is going to try to be like a gun bunch guide for the year. We're going to update this thing as new bunch concepts are learned, as we, as we need to adjust it. Um, the bunch is freaking ridiculously good this year. So if you want to get access to it, 15 bucks down in the description. There's a link for you to click on. You just go over there and get it. Um, guys, this offense is putting up like 50 plus points a game for me right now. So hard to stop. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys later.